Hello everyone and welcome to another review. This time we bring you M Drill Zero professional streaming microphone from Throne Max. When it comes to the design and build quality, the m Drill Zero features a sleek, minimal and non-nonsense design. Picking it up, you'll immediately notice its weight and build quality. It's a truly sturdy piece of hardware that is sure to have no problem with remaining functional even with heavy usage. There is the rubberized stand at the bottom to keep it firmly in place during any sort of rotation or movement of the microphone if it's placed on a table. The bottom of the microphone features a 3.5mm jack if you want to plug in a pair of headphones and a USB Type-C that's used to connect it to a Windows or Mac PC or even a PlayStation 4. Going further up, there are two knobs that dominate the face of the microphone. The small, lower one is used to increase or decrease the loudness of your PC sound output. The upper knob is used to control microphone modes. If turned to the left, the microphone will be set in a directional mode. That means it will pick up only sounds coming from the front. If turned toward the ceiling, the microphone will mute and pick up no sounds. And finally, the right side is used for omnidirectional recordings or picking up sounds coming from every side of the microphone. At first, I barely noticed the small icons around the knob that represent each of the three modes, but I didn't need to. Throne Max added a standout feature in the form of LED light that encircles the knob and its color changes depending on the mode. Blue is for directional, red for when the microphone is turned off and green is for omnidirectional. It's a great and intuitive way of informing the user of the mode being used as well as something that makes the microphone look really amazing. The directional and omnidirectional modes can even be dialed up or down to encompass more or less space to pick up sound from, and the intensity of the LED lights changes to reflect that. Going a bit further up, you have the screws that keep the microphone on the stand. These usually need to be screwed almost all the way in, because if they're not, the microphone will spin around and usually settle in an upside down position. You can of course unscrew them and unmount the microphone if you wish to place it on a different stand. And finally, you have the upper portion of the microphone that features its grill, underneath which you can clearly see the black windscreen that is used to both protect the internals of the microphone and filter out peak sounds during recordings. When it comes to the sound quality, the m Drill Zero produces mixed results. The non-nonsense design of the microphone also translates to the recording options. With no dedicated software, using it is as simple as plugging it into the device of your choice. As mentioned, the recording modes are all controlled by the microphone's central knob. While this simplicity is Zero's greatest strength, it's also a source of its greatest weakness, since you won't be able to tweak any settings in the way it picks up or filters your voice. When it comes to the modes, you'll probably be using the directional one the most as it produces the best results. Sending a microphone on the table in front of you, it will have no problems clearly picking up what you're saying without you needing to lean toward the microphone itself. The grill, combined with the internal windscreen, does a great job of filtering voice pops or unwanted spikes that could potentially mess up your recording or damage someone's eardrums. The microphone doesn't pick up any background noise for the most part, although I did notice a faint white noise on some of my recordings. It's not exactly a deal breaker and you won't even notice it if you use the microphone for streaming or podcasts. For testing purposes, just listen to the review, since it's entirely recorded in M Drew Zero's directional mode. This is just a simple taste without any editing or background music. The omnidirectional mode, while still producing good sound quality, is a mixed bag. When you get really close to the mic itself, it can sometimes produce better sound than when using the directional mode. But as soon as you move half a meter away, your voice will be extremely quiet and drowned by all the other noises the mic will pick up. This entirely defeats the purpose of this mode, as it should be used for multi-people podcasts or conference meetings, which I don't really see happening with the problem stated previously. To confirm that, this is a sample of an unedited omnidirectional mode recording, with me sitting right in front of the microphone. The only way I see this used is if I put my head right next to the mic, which kind of defeats the purpose of using it with more people. In conclusion, Throne Max M Drill Zero is a fine product for its price point. 
Even if you are not satisfied with some of the results it produces, you can take solace in the fact that you will have one sexy piece of hardware sitting at your desk, since its design shames even some of the more expensive microphones out there. It's good at exactly the purpose it's marketed for, and that's voicing your streams. When you try to use it for any other purpose is when you start to notice a few of its shortcomings. It's still a great choice for entry-level streamers or YouTubers that don't have the need or money to use their upgraded Drone Max M0 Pro or microphones from other manufacturers.